Hallo zusammen und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Minecraft Story Mode Episode 6. Es spitzt sich immer mehr zu. Vor allem ist es jetzt interessant, dass wir die, die Katzen gefunden haben. Chests of the Dead. Na klasse. Portal Library. Let's see here. Legends of the World Portals. Basic Portal Theory. Portals and you? Wow. They're all about portals. It's pretty obsessive. Okay, gucken wir erstmal Chests of the Dead. Oh no. Here's where everyone's stuff gets collected. <sighs> Those poor people. Ich frage mich wirklich, ob wir das mit Lissy hätten verhindern können. Hallway Portrait. Petra, did you see this? That's the portal hallway. Yeah. Looks like the white pumpkin's been there too. Man kann ich da noch irgendwas machen? Look at ne, das haben wir ja eigentlich schon gemacht. Lake. Cat chest. That chest definitely seems important. Okay, kitty kitty. Can you scoot out of the way, please? I need to get in the chest. Na oh, super. Bad kitty. Ah, stupid cats. Need something to distract it if I'm going to get that chest open. Come on, kitty. You're interfering with my investigation. Perhaps it would leave if you gave it some sort of delicious treat. Where am I going to get something like that? Gute Frage. Was haben wir denn hier? Potion stand? Looks like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. So that's the potion part, but what about the arrows? I'm guessing this chest should have... Yep. We've got sticks. Anything else? Oh wow. And ender pearls. Sweet. That must have been how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. There's nothing I can craft that can help me. Not yet anyway. Okay. Dann Stampion Petra. You guys doing okay? I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty worried about Lucas. If the white pumpkin isn't down here, he must still be upstairs. And I thought that I was okay because I was numb and feeling no emotions at all. But I'm beginning to suspect it was actually shock. Don't worry. We're going to crack this wide open. Ich bin Fisch. Ich brauche eine Angel. 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 Wie mache ich eine Angel? Brauche ich nicht irgendwie einen Faden? Ah. Ich sollte ein bisschen String von diesen Cobwebs bekommen. Es wird perfekt mit den Sticks, die ich gefunden habe. Okay, holen wir uns einen Fisch. So. Oh, to get a fish. Cats love fish. Yeah, and I saw one in the pond that'll be perfect. Und hoffentlich beißt schnell etwas an. Ja, wunderbar. Wow, nice catch, Jesse. Thanks. I bet that cat will love this. Okay, Kitty. Fischzeit. 
Dann gucken wir mal, was in der Kiste ist. Okay, hier, Kitty. Get the fishy. There you go. Jeez. Oh. Many cats. So many cats. Oh, holy. Oh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. At least I can finally get in here now. It's full of portraits. Loads of them. This? Oh, I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Okay. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and... Hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay, so who did it? Yes, you figured it out? Cassie. The white pumpkin. I hope it's Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. Oh holy! Hey, kiddies. You're totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is she the white pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a white pumpkin. I hope that was just right. Oh, holy. Ach, er wechselt schon wieder seine Haarfarbe. Alles gut. <lacht> What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? I have the evidence I need to prove that Lucas is innocent. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't say. No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you going to tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. <gasps> She's the murderer. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're going to have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Torque Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Cassie said she recognized us, even before we saw the portraits. Uh, actually, that was Lizzie. Shazza! Oh, shoot. I guess I misremembered that. Well, no matter. I haven't even gotten to the really juicy stuff yet. That came next. When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items Stimmt, for the White Pumpkin's evening oh, nein. festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. We found a primo potion brewing station. Perfect for making the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog in the first place. Oh, that's pretty good evidence, but uh, honestly, that seems more like a Lizzie clue than anything. Yeah, and she's gone. Hmm, that made more sense in my head, but that's okay. Stick with me, people. Jesse, come on, you're blowing this. You can do it. Ich war ausgerade, but it was ne? the last piece of evidence, dear friend, <laughs> that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats, and they all looked just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred cats. Really? Shh. Oh God, what is that then? Winslow, he's brown, orange, and white. Easy. <laughs> er war doch oh. black. I'm sorry, Jesse, but. It just doesn't add up. I guess that means the oh, most nine. likely candidate is still Lucas. Nine. No, 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 no. No way. I am not leaving here without him. So, do you punks want to do it the easy way? Or the way where I punch all of you? Oh, God. Guys, guys, 
Come on. There are better ways to resolve this. I'm starting to wonder if you're all in on it. Please. I know I didn't convince you about Cassie, but you have to believe me that Lucas is innocent. No, 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 no. Please, we don't have to do this. We don't have to do this. I have the enchanted flint and steel. You had it? You? I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years. Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. Wait, Jesse was right. You were all so wrapped in your stupid drama. Stop talking and someone grab Cassie. <coughs> I'll fight all of you, each and every one of you. Whoa. Another trap, we need to dig her out. After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this. Oh, nine. Wait, look. I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. Wow. The trapper taken out by one of her own traps. That's ironic. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is... Yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. I tried my hardest, but there was nothing I could do. Oh, we all know that, Jesse. It's not your fault. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Hey, what do you know? There it is! A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot about that. It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. Hey, it's cool, guys. You can share it. Make like your own Order of the Stone. Yeah, all right. I guess I can live with that. Yes, that's a wonderful idea. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just going to start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie What's-Her-Name was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds... It all adds up, I guess. Man, that's too bad if it is true. Seeing as how she turned out to be, you know... The white pumpkin and all. Yes. Hadn't thought about that. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder 
and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Huh? That's weird. Winslow? That's strange. I thought... I was... Was zum Teufel? No! Ah! What happened? I can't see a thing. Well, that's ominous. Do you hear that? Endermites! And there it is, Jesse! You're trapped! Stuck! <laughs> Just like I've been in this rotten world. Come on, Cassie. Just let us go and we can go our separate ways. After everything you've done to me? No. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives. Just give me the flint and steel, and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Hey, I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? How about we share? 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 What, you want to walk through some portal happily holding hands and stab me in the back later? Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever. <gasps> Winds on my pet. Activate the trap! Want something done right, you have to prepare for your death! Guys! <laughs> Jesse! Come on, Winslow! Oh, that's is not good. Gar nicht good. Stupid door! Oh, that's no use! Without a lever, or button will never get these iron doors open! Just hold on, guys. I'm gonna get up to the control panel. Yeah, that is disorienting. Oh God! I had not expected with so much. Okay, quickly. Uh, just started going faster. Oh, klasse! She booby trapped her booby traps. That is so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Time to get leverage. <gasps> Give me my key, Jesse. Uh... <laughs> Guys? No! No! Hey, Jesse! Guys, I can't believe you're alive! Thank goodness! Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. Oh God. Got it. Okay, you guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? Hey, Cassie. I grow tired of this game, Jesse. The key. You didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Nope. No! <laughs> no, we are going home. No, you can't do this. I've waited too long. It's mine, Cassie. I won't let you have it. Oh, button smashing. What? Went slow. Was tust du da? Und slow. Seine brave Kitty. Seine brave Kitty. Brave Kitty. No, 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 Winslow. Bad Kitty, stop it. Winslow. Good boy. Sweet Kitty. Bring 
metal master. Don't listen to the white pumpkin, Winslow. Bring the shiny thing to me. Let's go, let's Of yourself. Look at me! Stuck again! Out of Ender Pearls! And that's where she wanted us to end up! Trapped. In my own trap! <laughs> of course. Of course. Well, at least you're still alive. That's more than Torque Dog or Captain Sparkles or Lizzie can say. You're right. Of course you're right. Wait! At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow. He's my best... My only friend. Please. Winslow? Winslow! Where are you, my darling? Come to Master, please! I have a fish! Come get the fishy! Winslow? Winslow! Wow. So she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Good sign so far. Yeah. No trick floors, or arrows, or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team. We all go together. Ready? One... Two... two three. three... Adventure! What's going on, dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles, next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? 
I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom, I've suddenly become part of the floor. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First, they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is going to be an amazing adventure. <sighs> Wir haben es geschafft. Okay, was haben wir denn hier? You and 85% of players showed the flint and steel to sparkles. You and 61% of players refuse to accuse anyone. You and 70% oder 71% of players went after the white pumpkin instead of helping your friend, denke ich mal. You and 20% of players didn't give enough evidence to convict Cassie Rose. Okay, da hat wohl viele Probleme. Und ich wollte erst noch sagen, dass Winslow black ist. Also unter anderem Black. Ah, na gut. You and 23% of players left her all alone. Also haben viele ihr Winslow gegeben? Okay. Gut, das war Episode 6, A Portal to Mystery. Ich habe es jetzt komplett in einem aufgenommen, deswegen weiß ich gar nicht, wie viele Parts es sein werden. Ich fand die Episode super, super spannend. Ich hätte so etwas überhaupt nicht jetzt in dem Sinne erwartet, dass wir da auch Detektiv spielen mussten und äh, dann direkt ziemlich zu Anfang dann auch den, den ersten Tod mit Talk Dog und dann Sparkles. Ich frage mich immer noch, ob wir Lissy hätten retten können und inwiefern sich das dann halt verändert hätte, wenn wir nicht nach dem White Pumpkin, wenn wir den nicht verfolgt hätten. Also wirklich sehr, sehr spannend. Wobei ich schon gleich sagen muss zu Anfang, als wir die alle befragt haben, dass Cassie mir da irgendwie schon so ein bisschen sonderbar vorkam und letzten Endes war sie es ja dann tatsächlich, weil ich finde, sie hat sich im Laufe der Geschichte dann immer mehr verändert, als sie dann auch einfach Lucas hinauswerfen wollte zu den Zombies, obwohl sie ja vorher so unsicher gewirkt hat, etc. Also sie hat sich dann, finde ich, im Laufe der Zeit immer mehr verändert, dass sie wirklich so ja, skrupellos im Mittelfekt ist. Das war sie dann ja auch, weil sie ja dann einfach über Leichen gegangen ist. Und als wir dann letzten Endes Cassie gestellt haben, fand ich es irgendwie sehr schwierig. Äh, hat man dann ja auch gesehen und hat man ja auch jetzt letzten Endes in der Entscheidung gesehen, dass mit Winslow war jetzt etwas unglücklich, dass ich dann jetzt letzten Endes mich dann doch anders entschieden habe. Ich weiß nicht warum. Ich war erst für Black, aber gut. Sei es so, es hat dann ja... Ja gut, es hat irgendwie schon ausgemacht, weil es dann letzten Endes in die Statistik gezählt hat, aber wenn man das jetzt mal beiseite lässt, es führt dann ja letzten Endes dazu, dass, ähm, ja, dass es jetzt doch Cassie war. Ich habe mit dem Ende jetzt nicht gerechnet, dass wir da jetzt doch nochmal getrappt wurden von Cassie, aber dass sie da wirklich ähm, nochmal auf den Bart hat, ja, ich bin The White Pumpkin. Und die letzte Entscheidung, da ist ja wirklich, wir konnten entscheiden, geben wir ihr Winslow oder nicht. Die, meine Frage ist jetzt noch, wir sind jetzt alle noch durch das Portal gegangen. Wo ist jetzt Winslow? Ist er da jetzt einfach... Ich meine, wir haben ihn nicht durch das Portal gehen sehen. Ich meine, wo ist Winslow? Ich denke mal, schafft er da irgendwie das Rau so aus der Höhle zu kriechen? Ich weiß es nicht. Auf jeden Fall... Ähm Ich konnte ihr Winslow nicht geben. Ich meine, dann wäre Winslow genauso da unten gefangen gewesen wie Cassie. Ich finde es auch immer noch schade, dass wir sie da unten gelassen haben. Ich hätte es jetzt irgendwie, ich weiß nicht, besser gefunden, wenn wir ihr doch rausgeholfen hätten. Und Aber dann wäre es wahrscheinlich 
wieder so gegangen, dass sie uns angegriffen hätte. Aber ich weiß nicht, sie hat es eigentlich nicht verdient, da wieder gefangen zu sein. Weil ich meine, jetzt ist sie ja im Prinzip noch schlimmer dran als vorher. Schwierig, aber ich wollte ihr da jetzt nicht auch noch in dieser Situation dann auch noch Winslow geben. Aber mich wundert, dass halt viele scheinbar ihr Winslow gegeben haben. Ich meine, sie, man hat gesehen, wie sehr sie an Winslow hängt. Und sie hat ja auch so viele Katzen. Aber ich denke dann so, wenn wir ihr Winslow gegeben hätten, dann wäre Winslow da unten auch gewesen. Und hätten ihn sozusagen auch zu einem Gefangenen gemacht. Deswegen habe ich mich dann letzten Endes dagegen entschieden, ihr Winslow zu geben. Und ich hätte es besser gefunden, vielleicht, wenn man ihr wirklich, ja, dass sie irgendwie Einsicht gezeigt hätte, man ihr dann noch geholfen hätte. Aber vielleicht war es für Cassie einfach schon zu spät. Also ich, ich bin nicht ganz glücklich über das Ende, dass man da jetzt Cassie, ja... da gelassen hat, obwohl sie überhaupt nicht ansatzweise richtig gehandelt hat. Also ich meine, sie hat die drei auf dem Gewissen, bewusst auf dem Gewissen. Und ja. Gut. Ich hoffe trotzdem, dass es euch gefallen hat. Gucken wir, was die nächste Episode so bringen wird. Und bis dann.